Greetings my dear friends and welcome once again on Honeydew Farms XL. I would like to start this episode on a funny note. So before we go any further, I would like you to take a moment to appreciate the fact that I'm uploading now these videos in 4K quality. Because 4K quality on modern hardware, maybe it's not a big deal. but me, I'm traditionally using my AMD FX8350 machine, which is taking uh, something about four to five hours to transcode one of these videos. So again, please take a moment to appreciate all this effort that I'm making, uh, that I'm doing, uh, investing into making these videos. That's outside of one and a half hours that's taking me to record them and then 15 minutes that is taking me to record the commentaries, then uploading them and everything related to this. So, on the other note, um, at this point I decided that it would take me a long, long time to advance in the game if I were to produce all the animal food that I'm going to use. So, what I decided to do is I, I tested and it looks like even if you buy your big food, which is the harder, hardest type of food to, uh, to produce, uh, you'll still be making some money. So for the time being, I decided to stop uh, harvesting my own uh, pig food, my own grains for pigs and uh, using you know buy the pig food and using it to uh, uh, to produce my pigs but that's only temporary of course uh, so uh, yeah uh, you saw me earlier selling my first batch of uh, pigs and um, i guess i'll have one more harvest um, of barley i think and then after that, I will be using only uh, bought pig food. Uh, and I'm gonna have one more harvest uh, for the reason that I need more straw. I would like to have uh, a big stack of straw uh, because buying straw, it's not an option. Uh, bought straw, it's very expensive as opposed to pig food, which is about 1000 euros per 1000 liters, so it's one to one ratio. And as my testing showed from each one, one uh, euro invested, uh, you would get, if you provided that you have the water and the straw, you would get about 1.4 uh, euros uh, profit so uh, uh, yeah that that's that's a good news um, even if you choose to not uh, uh, produce and harvest your own uh, grain grains for, uh, for for pig food you still can make uh, a profit So this episode will be more about fast forwarding. So this is the second day, I guess, uh, in, in this episode. And the reason I'm cleaning the pigs and I'm uh, stockpiling their food uh, outside the pig area is, the f is because <laughs> I did the trick that I used to do in FS17, where I was filling the pig food bars just before selling the pigs so that uh, after selling the pigs my food bars would would stay full for a long time but that <laughs> that was possible because in fs17 i had this uh, table manner mods which was removing uh, removing the uh, cleaning of animals now that i don't have that mod and i have to clean the uh, the pigs in this case, um, you, if your food bars are full, you cannot, you know, feed back 
uh, the food that you just picked. So that's why I was dumping it in a pile uh, to be able to use it uh, later. So again, maybe this that's a mechanic that you are familiar with it. With it, uh, you know, I'm not as familiar because since I discovered this food, uh, this table manner mod, I uh, I was always using it. Before table manner mod, I was using the Lely Juno mod, which is uh, a robot which uh, uh, gives back the spilled food. And yeah, I guess I have to check if a similar mod is released for FS19. Because today I checked there isn't a, a table manner mod for FS19 yet. But I haven't checked if there is a Lily Juno mod. So after fast forwarding for two or three days, I guess now I can prepare some more mixed food for my cows. Just as in previous episodes, I'm um, loading at least four loads of silage. And then the rest is uh, hay from my silos. Um, yeah, and here I have some problems with uh, my uh, skid loader because from time to time it it seems to to not respond. It it it, it seems that it starts to um, you know making making turns and uh, circles around, and I'm desperately uh, pressing all the buttons and nothing seems to work. And ultimately, what what is working is switching to other um, vehicles, and then going back to the skid. And this should be my second load of milk sold in this gameplay series. And again, I had some problems with uh, controlling the the tractor, and this uh, this time it it was on the skid. Now that my foot bars went uh, went went back a little bit. I can um, reload all the spilled food uh, back. So I loaded some hay to my uh, ships and then some straw to my uh, pigs. No, to my cows, but I completely forgot that pigs also required straw, so I went back and brought a, um, brought some more straw. So as I said, this episode is more about fast forwarding. I guess there's more fast forwarding than usual. And this episode would be like five or six 
uh, in game days and what's what's actually different from FS17 now you don't pay equipment maintenance fees but you have to uh, repair your equipment from time to time but at the same time your equipment value still goes down with each uh, with each day so um, even if you're not using your equipment even if its reliability factor doesn't go down because as far as i understand this reliability factor it's affected by the um, how clean uh, you know how clean is your equipment for example if your equipment goes dirty and you don't uh, don't wash it your reliability will go down so outside of these factors your uh, you know your equipment value resale value will still go down uh, as uh, the time will pass so in this regard your equipment value is uh, is the same as uh, as in uh, FS17 so the longer you keep your equipment uh, the cheaper it will get which i think it's realistic in general terms of course if you're if we're speaking in terms of uh, cars for some cars uh, the value will go down for other cars the value will you know will remain flat as uh, for for other cars the value in time will go up but it, uh, but of course we're, we're speaking uh, about farming equipment not uh, you know cars so in general uh, the value of your farming equipment will go down so even i uh, you know not being a farm expert can understand this mechanic so maybe in this regard it's realistic So as I said previously, I think next time when I when I'm gonna be producing silage, uh, I'm gonna be producing it by wrapping up grass bales because loading silage with this uh, small bucket is a no go for me. And I just checked if maybe it will work uh, directly loading the silage with the bucket of this mixer and. <laughs> again it doesn't work as for this field my my second field field number two as i consider it i'm almost uh, finished uh, seeding uh, barley as i said this time i'm seeding this field with barley not not because i need the barley itself although i will make a good use of it uh, but because i need uh, straw uh, as I said I intend to sell my my combine because I'm not gonna need it for uh, for the time being uh, but I wanted to have a good supply of uh, straw and as usual the helper uh, tends to leave some some bits of the field so I have to do it manually but in the meantime, the time allowed for this episode expired. So guys, as usual, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestion, then please leave it in the comment section below. I hope to see you all next time and I wish you all a great day. Bye bye.